Hi Sagittarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of January 9th to January 15, 2023? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Sagittarius, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, rising and venus signs one more thing please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me please um i will never send you a message telling you to contact me in any way so please be careful not to get scammed all right let's get started now spirit angels and guys please show me the energy of sagittarius in regards to love for this week thank you spirit All right, at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords in reverse. We also have the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Moon, King of Cups with the Ten of Cups. Okay, in regards to your energy, Sagittarius, for the week pertaining to love. Queen of Swords with the Three of Cups. Oh, I see. And the Page of Pentacles. Oh, not the Eight of Pentacles and the Magician. This feels a little bit like anti love energy. Oh, Sagittarius. Look at this. There's somebody here. Queen of Cups. Three of Swords, Page of Cups, and the Two of Cups. But I think you're this Queen of Cups here in reverse. It looks like you're anti-love. But you have, you have someone around you that wants to be in a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this is you, honestly. This Eight of Pentacles, it looks like you're in this energy of wanting to just focus on your work, your career, your finances, your personal goals, personal stability. Magician is here. This is kind of like a business person. Some of you are trying to build a business, create a business. Or you're just trying to have a better, um, a better handle over your responsibilities. Hmm. All right. I do feel like there is um, an opportunity here for a happily ever after with the 10 of cups. But I feel like you're now looking at it with the king of cups in reverse. I don't know what you're doing, Sagittarius. I think I need to clarify. Not 
I'm not understanding your energy completely. It just feels like... I don't know. It feels like you're just not focused on love. But it's around you. I'm sorry. I don't know what you're doing. But let's see. What's this King of Cups in reverse, please? Okay. Yeah. Eight of Swords. You don't know what you're doing. That's right. Eight of Swords. Feeling conflicted. What else, Spirit? Oh, I see the devil in reverse. So you are kind of scared. Okay, you're, so you're, you're a little bit scared to get involved into something that is toxic. That could potentially be toxic. You don't want to be stuck in toxic situations, in toxic relationships, in toxic partnerships. That's what you're trying to avoid. You want to have your, you want to have peace. Eight of Pentacles and the Magician, you want to have peace, you want to have tranquility, you want to have balance. Hmm. It's like you want to avoid drama. You want to avoid, avoid drama, avoid conflict, avoid being involved in other, other people's issues or being involved in issues that are not yours. Or getting wrapped up in negativity that is not yours. Or getting wrapped up in a in a negative situation. That doesn't have to be yours. Hmm. What's this moon in reverse? I feel like you know something. This this is when you when somebody knows some kind of truth. What is this truth about the moon in reverse spirit? What did I just say right now? Look at that. <laughs> I just said that. <laughs> Nine of swords in reverse and the four of swords upright. Yeah, I just said that right now. You want to be in peace with the four of swords. You don't want to be like bothered or you don't want to receive um, any conflicts from anyone. You don't want to be stressed out with the Nine of Swords in reverse. You don't want to be stressed out. You don't want to be mentally or emotionally conflicted. Oh, and that's what you know, because it's with the moon in reverse. So you know that that's something that you don't want, basically, with the moon in reverse. Yeah. You know that that you don't want to be in in drama, connected to drama, associated with drama, anywhere near drama or conflicts. You, it looks like you just want to focus on yourself with the Eight of Pentacles and focus on, on the things that you care about, that you're passionate about, your hobbies, your work. Your goals. Magician is here, so it's very independent energy. I feel like you want to be independent. This Ten of Cups, I feel like, you know, it might be tempting to you, like, because it is, you are coming up as the King of Cups which does connect to the Ten of Cups. So I, I do feel like, you know, it might be something that draws your attention, this happily ever after situation with someone. Like you notice it, you notice it, 
it draws your attention, you would like to have it, but it doesn't seem to be worth it to you, worth it for you if it's going to cause you any type of stress then it's not worth it you don't really want to work towards this 10 of cups like you don't want to you don't want something that requires work. I feel like the only work that you want to do is on yourself and on the things that you're interested in, you know, on a personal level. All right. Anything else here? What's the King of Swords in reverse spirit? Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords in reverse with the King of Swords in reverse. Clarifying the King of Swords in reverse. Hmm. You see what I'm talking about? This is something that's giving you stress. Look at this. Look at this. What The way this Queen of Pentacles is looking at the Ace of Swords. Yeah. There's something, this, there's something giving you stress. That's exactly what you don't want. There's something giving you a headache. What is that, Spare? What's this Ace of Swords in reverse? What's that? Ooh, Ten of Swords. Oh, so you went through some sort of ending with someone. And this ending that you went through caused you a lot of grief, caused you a lot of heartache, um, caused you a lot of emotional conflict, mental conflict. And yeah, you don't want to go through that again. You don't want to go through that again. That's what you're trying to avoid. You feel a lot safer when you're on your own with the Eight of Pentacles. You feel a lot more safer and a lot more stable on your own than when you're in a than when you're in a relationship. Hmm. Ace of Swords. There were there was a lot of secrets with the Ace of Swords in reverse between you and someone. There was a lot a lot of secrets. There was bad communication between you and someone. And it just overall caused you a lot of stress and you might have felt like it was toxic. So it looks like right now you're just not feeling like this 10 of cups is worth it. You know, it's not worth working for. Because it looks like you already tried it and it didn't work out, it didn't it failed with the Ten of Swords. And you're just not interested in repeating cycles. You're you're interested in letting go of anything that causes you any type of stress or mental conflict. Okay. Looks like you're happier on your own with the magician and the eight of pentacles. All right. Let's move on to your person, see what's going on in their energy for the week. <clears throat> okay, hopefully that resonated. Let's see, spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person that Sagittarius is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. Thank you, spirit.
At the bottom of the deck, two of cups in reverse. Hmm. Might be connecting with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have four of pentacles in reverse. We have the devil. We were just talking about the devil. Could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Seven of wands in reverse. Eight of pentacles. The empress could be a Libra. Nine of swords. Libra or Taurus. Mm -hmm. We also have Virgo. All right, so in regards to the energy of your person for this week, what's this? Two of cups in reverse with the ace of pentacles and the death in reverse and the nine of pentacles. Mm. Well, the devil is here. It does look like this person is upset with you. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, I do feel like they're upset with you. Upset? Why? I'm going to have to clarify that. But I do feel like this person is in this energy of trying to distract themselves from you. Trying to keep themselves busy trying not to think about you because they're upset with you. And the more they think about you, the more upset they get. So they're trying to kind of channel all of their energy into their work. Mm -hmm. Into their work or career. Okay, I see. The Empress is right under the devil. They're, I think they're upset because something is not getting off the ground with you. Something is not getting off the ground with you. Yeah, and this person has the death card in reverse, which means that they feel unfinished business with you. And they don't, it looks like they don't want to be in any kind of separation from you. They don't want to be separated from you. They don't want to experience an ending with you. On the contrary, it looks like they want to experience a new beginning with you, with the Ace of Pentacles, but they feel like you two are very disconnected from each other. The emotional connection is not how it used to be between you and them. For whatever reason, it looks like the, the connection has weakened and they're not happy about it with the devil card. Let me verify that. Let's clarify. What's going on with um, the devil spirit? What does this devil mean here? Justice in reverse, they feel like something is unfair. Queen of swords in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse. Jeez, with the devil. Also, this person is feeling kind of like cheated or betrayed. Um, or abandoned. They feel like you you weren't fair with them. Justice and the Emperor, they feel like you weren't fair with them. Okay, I need something else. Tell me more about the devil, please. Okay, Four of Swords. 
Yeah, this is what they've been trying to do with the Four of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who's been trying to drop you, you know, with the Four of Pentacles in reverse and the Seven of Wands. They've been trying to drop you. They've been trying to not fight for this anymore, like fight for this relationship anymore because they feel like they keep failing with you or like they feel like they keep hitting a dead end. Or, you know, things just don't work out in their favor. And I feel like this is someone who's been feeling very frustrated or upset. And they've been trying to drop you. And they've, they've been trying to put their attention on other things in their life. So that they can alleviate the mental stress and mental burden that they feel when they think about you. Because this person, it's like secretly they're not over you, you know, with the death card in reverse, they're not over you, they feel unfinished business. Um, this is not the outcome that they wanted with you. They feel like you two have, have disconnected. What did this person want actually? Well, what does this person um what does this person want with Sagittarius spirit? What is what do they want with Sagittarius or from Sagittarius? What are they expecting or desiring? The Seven of Swords, so they feel like you've been avoiding them or like you've been playing games with them. They feel like you're doing this on purpose with the Seven of Swords. They feel like you're intentionally trying to play games with them and trying to upset them. So they feel like you have like bad intentions with them. Um, okay, what else? What, is, um, what does this person want with Sagittarius? Or from? Look at this, King of Swords in reverse. Again, they feel like you are, you're not talking to them. You're avoiding communication with them. And they, that's what they want from you. It looks like they want, they want you to communicate clearly with them or they want you to be upfront with them. Um, they want you to stop hiding. They feel like you're hiding. They want you to make a decision. The King of Swords in reverse could be like making a decision. A decision about what? Yeah, the moon, they feel like they're in the dark with you. They feel like Um, yeah, they just feel like you're, um, you're avoiding them or you're ignoring them. You're avoiding some kind of conversation with them. You know, some kind of talk. Important, uh, important talk and an important conversation. Or you're avoiding making a decision. This person looks like they know what they want with you. Yeah. This person looks like they know exactly what they want with the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person wants a new beginning with you. I also feel like they're interested in commitment with you, but they feel like you're not giving them any feedback or you're not giving them any clear 
information about what you want. Or if you have, then this person feels like you're lying to them, like they don't trust you. I don't know what this person wants, honestly. I feel like this person just wants you to ch chase them, honestly. Anything else about that spirit? The tower. And the temperance card in reverse. Oh, so this person just feels like you're you're letting this tower fall. That you're letting this tower fall. You're letting things get destroyed between you and them. It looks like they want you to care. They want you to care more about them and about this relationship. They feel like you're just you're not talking to them, you're not showing up. You're not you know, you're not contributing to the growth of this relationship with the Empress in reverse. And they don't know what to think with the Moon card. They feel like you're a mystery. They feel like you're a mystery to them. You know what? I don't actually know either because I did read your side of... I did look at your energy on your side of the reading and I don't, I didn't really get a clear idea either of what you wanted. What does Sagittarius want with this person, spirit? Okay, this is Five of Cups and the World card. Okay, Sagittarius, it looks like you just want to like end things with them, with the World card. It's like you just want to move on to a new chapter in your life, a new cycle in your life. You feel really affected by this situation, by this person, this relationship. And it looks like you just want to kind of, you know, clear your energy. It looks like you want to clear your energy and and close out this cycle and move on to a new cycle. Mm -hmm. But this person feels like you're not making that clear. For some reason, they feel like you're not making it clear to them that you want to end things. So it looks like they're a little bit kind of confused here with the moon card. But they do feel like you are letting things fall apart between you and them. Okay. All right, so that's what I see, Sagittarius. I hope this resonated and I hope it made sense to you. I'm going to continue now in the extended reading. I'm going to take a deeper look at this person and see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you. What are their true and real intentions and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week? If you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.